Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing another um, Audi food shop haul. I haven't done one of these for a while. Um, just showing you what we tend to get as like sort of staples as a family of four. So we have two and a half year old and an eight month old baby as well. So it can come to quite a lot because the baby is on formula um, and they are also both still in nappies as well. So I will show you what we've got. I'm also going to pop all of our meal plan for the week down in the description box below just because it's easier to have it like listed out rather than me kind of fully explaining it. Um, I will explain like some of the meals as we go, like mention what we're having, but I will pop the whole meal plan for the week in the description box down below. Let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. So this is everything that we got in Audi this week. So all of this here and then these little bits here as well. So all of this all together came to £102. So I'll kind of like talk through it, like kind of like mention our meal plan for the week while I'm talking through the food shop, um, as always. So I'll start with like the fruit and veg. So we've got some bananas. Um, I always have one of those for breakfast if I'm just running out of time to make anything. Um, got some red chilies. So this is for my prawn, tomato and chilli spaghetti that I'm making this week. Obviously for the boys, I will leave out the chilies in their portion maybe just cook off some stuff separately um some tomatoes steve got those for um his salads for lunch um we've got a cucumber so me and the boys have this with, with lunch we've got some mixed peppers can't actually remember what these are for i think that this is for maybe steve's salad or something i don't think we've got any meals with peppers in this week um then we also have more frozen peas and frozen broccoli because we just needed to top up in the freezer we always get stuff like this frozen it's just so much cheaper and lasts so much longer um we've got potatoes there as well um and then we've got onions and a sweet potato so they're more for like steve's stuff that he does for lunch um we've got a pack of um grated light cheddar i think they only do the light cheddar in like grated cheese rather than a block so i think we just had to get that um because yeah i do like cheese with stuff but obviously it's so fattening so i have been going for the lighter version because there's just a lot less calories in it we've got some grated parmesan as well so like tonight we're having a lean mince um, spaghetti bolognese, like a healthy version um, for all of us, including the boys. So that's like for things like that. Um, we've got some light mozzarella. I think one of our meals this week is um, what we had last night. It's a hash brown mozzarella and baked bean, like bake. And it's so good and only like 400 calories per serving. Um, so this will go with things like that some reduced fat soft cheese this is for um some of my like pasta dishes and then some mascarpone cheese as well to make a pasta sauce for the boys um because some of the nights that we're having we're having some stuff that they probably won't eat um so we'll make them a pasta sauce with that then steve's also got some light baby bells because he likes to have these as a snack when he's being healthy we've got a whole like a large whole milk um because obviously the boys uh joel still has to have whole milk and the boys have this in their porridge every morning um i've got a big pack of eggs we're getting through so many eggs at the moment i have them for either breakfast or lunch most days so like scrambled egg with toast or something like that we've got some pitters because we're going to have pitta pizzas for dinner one night um and the boys will have that as well so i've got um put like chicken and mushrooms and spinach on them and they're just a healthier version of a pizza so obviously we've got wholemeal ones of those um we've got some tortilla wraps because i do like to have a fish finger wrap with some salad um for lunch at the moment again that's kind of on my diet plan then over here we've got some like sauces and things so we've got a barbecue um marinade this is for um the chicken which will go on these we have got some hoisin and garlic stir fry sauce so this is for our honey and chicken noodles that we're going to do in the slow cooker one night this week um we've got coconut milk i'm not sure what that's for i think steve's got that for something he's doing mixed herbs because we were out and steve's got some jamaican jerk seasoning for again some chicken thing that he's doing for lunch got two tins of chopped tomatoes for things like our bolognese and 
my prawn and tomato spaghetti. Then like snacky bits. So we've got Peppa Pig, cheesy lentil puffs for Joel. He's also chosen, we normally get him Barney Bears when we shop in Asda, but he chose these chocolate cake bars in Aldi. So I was not a part of this. Steve took him food shopping. So, um, but yeah, he'll be fine with just one of those a day. Um, I've also got multi-pack of raisins for Joel and some apple fruity bakes as well. He's honestly the king of snacks at the moment. We just get through so much food. Then I've got two packs of fibre. These are the dupes of the fibre one bars. So I like to have these as a snack. These are actually less calories than the fibre one bars because I think they're like 90 calories each. So I've got salted caramel squares and cinnamon squares. Um, then we've got... Um, I've got some strawberries and some blueberries. So the blueberries are for my pancakes in the morning. So I'll have those um, with uh, some light honey as well. And then strawberries are mainly for Joel to go with his lunches. Little apple pouches. Joel still likes to have one of these for dessert after dinner. Um, and then I've got fruit pouches for Reuben as well. And then a couple of um, emergency pouches for Reuben's dinners in case we're having one of those nights where it's just got really late and because Reuben goes to bed by six, I have to get his dinner done. So we like to have these in the cupboard as an emergency if he's not going to hold out and have dinner with us. They've actually got these new ones in there. They say from 10 months plus and he's just turned eight months, but he's been having 10 months plus pouches quite a lot, actually. I think they only stay that because of maybe the portion size and also the lumps and chunks in it. But because we're doing a mixture of baby lab weaning and purees, he's actually fine with lumpy food. So um, yeah, I thought we'd try the Thai style chicken curry and the coconut and chicken risotto. They both look really nice. So hopefully he'll like those. Then I've got a big pack of yogurts for the boys. They always have one of these after their lunch and sometimes their dinner. Um, and then I've got two packs of chocolate mousses for me. So I like to have one or two of these in the evening after dinner because um, they're quite low calorie. So it's just my little sweet treat after dinner. Got another box of cornflakes because Joel started loving to have these with his breakfast. And sometimes we'll cook um, cornflake chicken in the air fryer as well for our lunches. And we'll put it in a wrap with some salad. Um, a bottle of wine that's my juice for tonight <laughs> um we've also got a pack of noodles so again that's for our honey garlic chicken noodles that we're doing this week we've got a pack of two chicken breast fillets um these are for the pita pizzas then we've got a pack of chicken thighs for the noodle dish that's said about we've got some bacon because i'm going to do a healthy carbonara this week um and we've also got, I think Steve got these turkey bacon rashers because I've been asking him to look for them for ages. Um, so this is just a healthy alternative to actual bacon um, if you are on a diet. So yeah, low fat, high protein. Um, so yeah, I can have these for breakfast with a bagel. I've already got some bagels in. Then I've got some pepperoni because again, for lunches some days, I like to have a pizza bagel and the boys can have that as well, especially Joel. Like I said, I've already got bagels in, I've already got tomato puree in, so I'll just spread a bagel with some tomato puree, a little bit of light mozzarella grated, um, and then some pepperoni on top, and it's a really nice lunch. Maybe a little bit of um, like fresh spinach as well. I've got prawns for my prawn and tomato spaghetti, um, and then we've got some chicken sausages, because we're going to have chicken sausage and mash one night. Um, kitchen roll and then we've got wet and dry cat food because we were out of both of those then over here steve just needed another shower gel so he's got the mint and tea tree one for him um we needed some formula for rubes um big pack of coke zero because me and steve have this every day um especially because we are being healthy and it's obviously only one calorie big pack of bottled water for some reason i still always have bottled water ever since being pregnant I still have it so yeah we always have that in the fridge and then just four packs of baby wipes we didn't need any nappies this week so obviously if we'd needed nappies it would have been slightly more expensive but then we might not have needed cat food or something like that so it usually comes to about between like 90 and 100 pounds every week so yeah, that is my Aldi food shop haul for this week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video.